Welcome everyone! Today I'm going to show you how to connect your JavaFX application to a Postgres SQL database. And now I'll show you what we're going to build. So we have a login form, you can enter your name, you can enter your email, and you enter your password. And when you click submit, as you can see here, it takes some time and then it says successfully created. And now I'm going to show you the database. Okay, I'm here in PG admin and I have a database called JavaFX and it has one table worker and it has three columns, name, email and password, which we just entered. And as you can see here, these are some old records. And when I click run, so we select all from worker, you can see two new examples. One was when I tried recording at first and this one, this was the second one or the other way around, but it's the new one which we just entered. So as you can see, it works. And all of these entries were entered through JavaFX application. So the database was empty and I entered all of them through this JavaFX application. So that is what we're going to be building right now. Let's get started. If you need help with setting up JavaFX, you can watch this video. And if you need help on designing the login form, you can watch this video. So I already have a few JavaFX tutorials. And if you need to refresh your memory, you can watch them. In this tutorial, I'll solely focus on connecting it to the database. So I will not go into the depths with JavaFX because I've already done that in another video. Okay, so this is the screen you get when you set up your project. So everything uh, will look the same to you, except I've changed the title and I've changed the width. So this is what you're going to get when you set up your project in your main.java. And in controller, what controller is basically, it connects this sample FXML. As you can see, when I run the scene builder, you will see the visual representation of this code over here. As you can see, this is the login form. So I've used this scene builder to design this and this scene builder actually writes to here. And if I scroll over here and you see FX controller, it's sample.controller and this is this class. So this class is used to connect to this graphical user interface. And as you can see here, we have some IDs here email, password, and name. And when you connect, you, ju you just say at FXML and you say private button or text field or whatever, and you need to pass exact same ID as you can see here. So email, email, name, name, and so on. And then I just connected a li action listener to our button. So when we click submit, this gets called and you can see everything in here so button id and when i scroll over here on action it's get data and that get data is actually this code again if you need help with this i already have a video about it which goes in depth it's it's about 20 minutes and you can watch that but for now it's just to connect to the database so basically whatever application you are building it doesn't really matter you can follow this tutorial. I just designed this, but you can use again, whatever application you want. I just designed this so we have something and you can move this around and play with it, do whatever you want. I just created this simple login form and now I'll show you how to connect to the database. First thing that you have to do is you have to download a driver for Postgres SQL or whatever database you are using. Since I'm using Postgres, I'll leave a link in the description and now I'll show you how to import it. So you have to go to this website. So Postgres SQL Java, this JDBC stands for Java Database Connectivity Driver. So you need something to connect Java and Postgres. And I clicked current version and I've downloaded this one. So just click and save it or I already have it downloaded and just click save and save it to some folder. Okay. And once you have done that, you go back to your IntelliJ and you go to file project structure. And as you can see, I, I already have it here, but you click on your 15, 11, 12, whatever version you have, and you click plus over here, you go to jar or directories 
and you just copy the path in which you've saved that. So I've saved it to this folder. You open it and you choose the thing we have just downloaded and click OK. I already have it, so nothing happens. OK, let me delete this. So you click plus jar. You paste your position and you just click OK. And you click apply and you click OK. And now it should work. It should Im import the jar. And now we come to the good part where we actually connect to the database. So none of this code will work if you do not have the driver with which, which we have just downloaded. You need that driver. And let me explain what we're going to do here. So we have a class, Java Postgres SQL, and it has one method. It says write to database. It takes a string username, user email, and user password, which we have over here. As you can see in here, we call that method. So we take the text from the name, from the email, and from the password, send it to this method, and now uh, watch carefully. So in here, we establish a connection to our database. As you can see here, this is my uh, database and I want to connect to it. So you click here to Postgres, right click and properties, and you can see connection, you can see local host and you can see our port. And this is what we say here. So you say JDBC, Postgres SQL, local host and your port. So this may be different, but I doubt it. And then slash and name of the database. So I have a lot of databases, but I'm using this one. So Java FX. And that's how you establish connection. Then you use your username minus Postgres. Yours can be different. And you use your password, whichever your password you put. And then if you know SQL, we need a query. So we say insert into, and then you say your table. My table is, as I already shown, worker, as you can see here. So I want to insert into worker, and I want to insert name, email, and password. So I say insert into worker, this is pure SQL. Insert into worker, name, email, password. So these are the columns, and then values, and you put question marks. And these will be the placeholders for our username, user email, and user password. And then, in here, we try to establish a connection with our URL, user, and password. So this over here. If that goes, if that works, then we create a prepared statement. And that's basically just for the security. So you can actually hard code the values in, instead of using these question marks. But this is the secure way to do that. So you create a prepared statement and you just insert. So we create the object, PST. And we say PST set string parameter one. So this is this question mark name parameter two email and parameter three password. You can also say like PST set integer. So it doesn't have to be text, but we're just using text. If you need help with that, you can Google it a bit, but we're going to do it like this or you can hard code values, but this is the secure way to do that. So let's just recap. We create a query. In here, we connect to the database using our data. And then we create the statement with the query. And we write into that query, into these question marks, we write this. And this code is that. Then we execute the statement and print out successfully created. And if it doesn't work, we will just write some error. Okay. and. That is how you send data from your JavaFX application. So from your controller, you get the text and we send it to Java Postgres SQL write to database, which is over here. We connect to the database and write to, into it. And now I'll again show how it works. And now you can see live how it works. So as you can see, we have seven, seven, seven inputs and let's run it again. And as you can see, we have seven. And now we'll just write Java coding gmail.com and some password. And when we click submit, 
As you can see here, we first print it to the screen, then we establish a connection and write. And now when we refresh, as you can see, when this removes, it is in here. And that's how it works. That's how you connect your JavaFX application to a database. If you need any help, you can always ask me in the comments. I hope this video was helpful. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss a video and see you in the next video. Bye.